Okay, it, hi everybody. It looks like I had to start over. Hopefully, we got one back. Um, if everybody, I'll be pay, we'll wait till everybody else gets over here, but I had to start it over again. I don't know what's going on. Hi, Kathy. Can you let everybody know I had to start it over? For some reason, it, um, totally kicked me out and wouldn't let me, um, wouldn't let me do anything. So I had to start a new one, which is nothing but a pain, but I didn't have a choice. So, um, yep, this one's working. So we're good over here where we're not good is on the other one. So we got to move over. So it, we'll wait a few minutes. People will get here. It's just going to take a minute or two, which is really no big deal. Um, I'm trying to go in and delete the other video so people can um, find this one. So hang on just a second and I will see what I can do. Yeah, the, excuse the um, sale thing because it's not a sale. I tried to delete that last week and, and it wouldn't let me. So I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to um, try to get that changed around next time. So anyhow, I'm here. I did it. Whoa. Um, you guys can see. Guess what I got done last week. I got it all finished. Oh, thank you, Kathy. I did finish it. Hi from Dublin. Hi, Bernadette. I got it all done. And I have a couple of blocks that are real favorites for me. But I did get it done. It needs a final pressing, and then I will get it on the long arm. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you so much, Lee. I'm very, very happy with it. I, I'm happy with all of it. It wasn't tough to put together. So as all it is, is the pattern from Lion's Quilt. And then what I did was I added sashing strips in cor and obviously cornerstones. And boy, what a difference it made. And the thing is huge. Uh, it's like a hundred and I don't know 16 inches long it's ridiculous so hi Irene I really am happy with the fabrics very very happy with the fabrics now if anybody's looking for these fabrics they are um, Tilda's fabrics and Old South Fabrics has this so if you're looking for that fabric, you can get it from them. In fact, I got my border and my binding from them because I didn't have it. I know, the deer draws my eyes right to it too. Yeah, and and I've got a bear up in that corner and um, a squirrel down in this corner. So, uh, and a bear up there. So I was really, really happy with it. And we're going to do something else with this fabric today. Um, Carrie, I'm not sure who this one's for yet or not. Um, Olivia ke it keeps asking for a quilt. So I don't know if it's going to go to Olivia or... My husband has asked me for a deer quilt multiple times. So maybe it'll go to my husband. I don't know. I haven't figured that one out yet. I'll figure it out eventually. But that's where I'm at with it. And I just had to show you guys what it looked like because I was so happy with how it turned out. I was very pleased with it. So I finished that quilt this week. 
Oh, I'm going to show you in just a second. For anybody who recognizes, this is Lori Holt. And I'll tell you in just a couple of minutes what I'm doing with it. It feels like I got something on the binder. I don't know what that is. I'll have to look at it later. So when I finish this one, many, hi gal. When I finished this one, I decided that I had to get some priorities going here. So I told myself that I could start a new quilt once I finished an old quilt. So this quilt had been laying around for months. I can't tell you how long. Months and months and months and months. So I quilted myself. Linda, I own a Gamel Statler long arm so I will quilt it myself I will get it over on the long arm and quilt it if if I have the ability to when I go to quilt it I will um, do a little video of it so you can see it either that or I'll take some snapshots and put them in the Facebook group okay so you can see it so once I got that done I thought okay now what am I gonna do next thank you Karen I I decided that, well, wait a minute, let's back up. I want to show you something else. I found this this week. It's from the Green Shop. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's from the Green Shop, and what it is is it's supposedly a reusable lunch pail. Isn't that cool? Well, I took a look at this. And the nice thing about it is it does kind of have a, a rubberized gasket on the inside. I don't know that you can see it, but there is a little rubber gasket. And as I was looking at that, I realized, oh, those even are close to fitting, that it is the perfect little thing to put sewing notions in when you're going to travel. Put your lid on, and because of the rubber band, it's not going to go any place. So I can just get it around and there it sits and everything's in there. So guys, for your sewing stuff, start looking around at other places besides, um, besides sewing stuff. This was found at a yarn shop and it is meant to be a lunch pail. Well, I'm not using that as a lunch pail. I use it to organize my sewing stuff. So I was really, really excited. So I got that this week. Just a little present to myself. So I'll set that aside. So then back to this quilt. I got that one all finished. Got my borders finished and said, okay, I need to start another project, but I need to work on it and keep it going. So does everybody remember this fabric? Let me open one of them up. This was... Um, not Marsha, um, Maureen McCormick's fabric. Do you remember that? Well, I had some of this left, and I'd already started, um, here's another one. I'd already started a Gathering Hills. So I sewed all of them together with, a, with just a fabric square. So I have a whole stack of them. All right, and this Friday night, I have someone coming over, and we have a goal. I have a goal for them to help me get this all laid out into my next quilt. So I got a two for going here. I got one, two, two old projects. Here's my extra blocks to finish this off. So this one's set aside now. So now I'm trying to decide what my next quilt is going to be. And that's important to you guys because I'm going to work on it on Sundays as much as I can. So we got to figure out what I'm going to do next. I was thinking we have two choices. We either have my um, laundry basket quilts. Anna's, I think it's Anna's quilt, right, Gail? So either Anna's quilt or we could do Stitch, which is Lori Holt's My Favorite Place quilt. And here's the quilt. 
I'll open, I've got the, the stuff. I've got it all ready to go. I just need to decide if I'm going to do this one. Here's the Lori Holt one. Or if I'm going to do the laundry basket quilts one. I'm leaning more towards the Lori Holt one. Only because it's going to start getting really dark and dreary out. Because it's going to be, you know, we're in November. I live in upstate New York. Guess what it does? It just keeps going and going and going. We have a lot of cloudy days. and Or the Anna's Basket. So let me know. Karen says Anna's Basket. Let me know what you guys think we should do next. Either this one or Anna's Basket. I can't figure it out. I just... I don't know which one I want to do first. All right, so we got a two Lori Holtz and an, and an Anna's basket. So keep going, guys, because I'll count them up later and find out what ones we're supposed to do. No, I did not cut it out. That was something that I found really interesting about Lori Holtz patterns, guys. When she did, does the sew-along, See if I can get this open again. I was shocked when I opened it up. In fact, I messaged Karen. Gail's got two secrets going. So I opened um I opened this up. And I messaged Karen because when I started looking at these, how her instructions work is she has you cut every single piece of your fabric to start with. Um, you can get it from Lori's website. I'll put a link to it below. Okay? So what I have to do... Here, look at, well, let me get you one page. Here is one page. You cut the entire thing out first. Then you start putting it together. So it's it's quite a bit in the beginning. I mean, it, it's a lot. You get it all cut out. But then the best part about it is you can just keep sewing, which really is wonderful. Okay, so Gail says she'll do either. She doesn't care. So let me know which one you want to see me do next in the comments. In either Lori Holt or Anna's Basket. All right? So I'll do one or the other. And then, don't forget, I have to keep working on it until it's all done. But what I'll do is on Sundays, I'll give you progress updates so that you can see what I've gotten done during the week. Okay, because obviously, like last week, I had a real productive week. I had a productive week there and on the long arm, so I was really, really busy. The Lori Holt pattern, it's the My Happy Place Sew Along. It's going on right now. I think she's up to block nine right now, but I couldn't get the supplies to do it. I just got my piecing templates. Ooh, Carrie, make sure that you show it to us in the group, okay? So, um, make sure you let me know. Either Lori Holt or the um, Laundry Basket Quilts. One or the other I'll get working on. So then, while I was watching um, YouTube, Lori had her really long stockings. Look at the stocking. Isn't it just the cutest? So I decided that I would make these for name tags for Christmas presents. So that's what I am working on today. So here's one of them. And I'm going to show you how I went about doing it. So the very first thing I did was, where's my piece of cardboard? Was I just got a piece of cardboard this is actually a piece of the back of a layer cake. 
real, real simple and easy. And I started by tracing a real snow, a real um, miniature stocking that I have that is a um, Christmas ornament. Okay. And then I decided I wanted to do what Lori had done and I wanted to put a top on the stocking, which on mine equals this. So I drew it out first like this. Then I copied it onto a new piece and you can see, I think, I added my quarter of an inch all the way around my stocking and then I cut it out. All right. The next thing I did was I took a piece of fabric and I added the two fabrics together. So this is the top of my stocking and then this is my stocking itself. All right, just, um, I think it's 20, Kathy, and it is my favorite place, Quilt Along. I'm pretty sure it's 20. And the quilt ends up being, I know I saw the sides here someplace. The quilt ends up being 76 by 88. And I'm pretty certain there's 20 blocks. All right, so you guys following me? This is what, what I did. Then I took my fabric, this piece, and as you can see, I've got a cut line right there. All right, I lined it up on the sew line. So on this one, I'll move it a little bit over so that I can get all of the reindeer. I lined it up on the sew line. All right. And I traced it. And when I traced it, I traced the back of it. Okay. And then I cut it out. When I cut it out, I pinned it to my fabric. I'm going to take this apart. And just a second. I stacked my fabric. So the very first piece I did, I put down, was my back fabric. So here's my back fabric. Oh, that's fun, Gail. So the very first thing I put down was my back fabric and I put it right side facing up. The next thing I did was I put down my pellon. Now what this is, is this is interfacing, but it is really, obviously, it's really stiff, okay? I put that underneath it so it was on the wrong side of it. All right. Then I took my stockings and I laid them down, both of them, on my fabric. Just making certain that I have enough. Can you see what I'm doing? No, you can't. Let me move this so that you can. Here we go. So I laid it down so that I could make sure that I had my pellon all over. Right. I had already done my quarter of an inch here, so that's all done. I didn't have to add another quarter. I'm feeling my pellon to make sure it's all there. All right, then I took my two, what did I do with my two little ribbons? There they are. I took two little pieces of lace ribbon And I folded them in half, and I think this is, what, five inches? Yep, a little piece of five-inch lace. I folded it in half, and then one thing I did do was make sure that the straight edge was pointing towards the outside, this side of my stocking. So I laid that down, made sure, and then I took my stocking, and I lined my stocking with the print material, my lace, and then my back material. And I pinned it. 
I'm going to pin this one. And the only thing you want to do is make sure that when you pin it, it's not in your quarter inch seam allowance so that you can work with it. Okay. And I'm going to take my other one and I'm going to do the same thing. Just going to fold it in half and I'm going to place it under here. Now, when I stitch this, I am going to back stitch where the lace is because I want that to be really caught well. I don't want to take a chance of that moving out of place or not being anchored properly so that when I go to turn it right side out, it's just gone. So let me pin a couple more places and then I'm going to cut these two apart so that I can sew it. Now remember when I said I already added my quarter of an inch? So I don't need a sew line. I've got my sew line because it's been drawn already. The other thing that I want to do when I make this is I want to leave an area open so that I can turn it right side out. So I'm going to leave this area right over here open so that I can turn it around. So I'm going to sew this down and then I'll come back and show you what we do next because it's really simple and it really is an adorable thing. I'm going to put the kids names for the gift tag. I'm going to write their name right there just in permanent marker so that it's they've got it. We know whose is whose. So I'll just stitch a quarter of an inch from the edge and I am going to definitely backstitch at the corners and I am going to backstitch over where I put the lace, okay? So I'm just turning it. I gotta back up one stitch. I got one too far. There we go. All right, now I'm going over the lace. I know you can't see me, but I'm going over the lace. Now I'm going to backstitch because I'm in another corner. And I'll pivot it around, and now I'm going to just sew the rest of the stocking. Now, if it starts punching up at all, guys, just pick it up. Take your pin out, lift the presser foot a little bit, and it'll straighten right out. Okay. So you just stitch around your edges. And and I like to use my leg lift on the side of my on my Bernina because that really helps me to control my fabric and my stitches. I just lift it just a little bit and then I can do whatever I need to do. Back stitch, cut my threads, and I'm done with that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this up, okay? I'm going to now try to read some of your things. Thank you, Kathy. So I trim it out. And guys, it's look at how simple that is. I just stitched around it. You saw exactly how long it took me to do it. it takes me no time at all. So I'm going to trim following the size of my stocking. Hang on, here we go. I'm almost there. And I am going to clip my two corners. And I'm making a mess of my sewing room, which is just lovely. And now I'm going to turn it right side out. I like to start... Oh, it is killing your hip? Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you, Kelly. I'm going to turn it around right side out, which is what I'm doing. Just takes me a minute. My thumb doesn't want to work. There's my little hanger. Now, these are adorable Christmas tree ornaments, too. I know my fabric doesn't scream Christmas, but I think it's adorable. I don't care. I'm going to go back and stick that in. I've 
I've got my poker and I'll poke out my corner as well as I can poke out my corner poke out my other corner now what I'm doing is just taking this and running it around the edges thank you Renee and I just just on the inside of it just take this and I just run it around okay and then that way it's all where it needs to be okay here I go with another side now the next thing I do, yeah, I got to get that toe out better. See the toe right there is missing. There it is. And I just go around the edges with it. And this just helps pull it out. All right. So that's all in there. I left my iron going behind me. So then I take it and I press it. And I'm going to stand behind for a second and press it. Maybe I'll even move it. The Wizard of Oz is happening today, ladies. Where am I? What am I doing? Okay, there it is. Now it's laying flat. So there I am. Let's see if I can make this move. There. I did it. Hopefully the whole quilt won't come down. Uh -oh. What am I doing? Okay, so here it is. And now, um, I did marry, but I that was my right, my left hand. I got to go back. My right hand is um, pretty bad. So now I'm just going to top stitch around the entire thing. Hang on. Let me top stitch it, and then I'll show you them done because they are so cute I can't stand it so that's what I'm going to be doing for the Christmas presents this year I'm just going to make little name tags because what is cuter than a homemade name tag I don't think there's anything a little pucker that's all right here we go So, as I said, I'm just sewing right around the edge so that it's, it flattens it just a little bit better. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a permanent Sharpie and I'm going to use that and write their names on it so that their names will be on the tag so that they'll know whose gift it is. And then... I'm all done and I can't wait I think this is cool and then we can keep them for um, Christmas ornaments for their trees later on life so here's one I'll show you one of them here's this one and here's this one so look aren't those just the cutest two cute little ornaments and I just think that they're adorable. I figure what I'll do is I'll tape the lace down and then it works. It'll just be adorable. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to continue to work on these while we talk today because I think these are cute and I want to keep them going. So I've got one more ready to go 
and I'll sew that one later, but I'm going to go ahead and pin in it. Oh, Vicky's making banana bread. Um, which blocks, dear? These? This is a quilt that I did earlier. I worked on it this week. And this is an old one that I've had. It is Gathering Hills. And I need to finish putting it together. So I'm going to... What I'm Thank you, Kelly. What I'm going to do is on Friday, I have some time set aside with someone that we are going to be working on this, just getting it laid out so that I can then get two old projects finished and then I get to move on to a brand new one. And then for the brand new one, we're, I'm either going to do... Um, Lori Holtz from BMI Bonnet, either her My Happy Place Sewing Along, which is this quilt, or I'm going to be working on Laundry Basket Quilts quilt. Either or, because I told myself when I finished an old one, I could make a new one, but I had to finish an old one. Well, I, this was an old project sitting around that I needed to finish, so I got that one done. So now I can bring out, I've almost got this one done, so I can bring out a new one and start working on it. So I'll start that one next Sunday. Either um, Lori Holtz or I will do Laundry Basket Quilts, Anna's Basket, one or, one or the other. I am, I, I don't mean to tell you this, ladies, because I know you're not going to like me. I'm all done with my Christmas shopping except for one child and one grandchild. So, um, I am really almost done. I can, um, I'll be, I'll be finished by, I hope, December 1st. That's my goal, is by then. We're, um, Kathy, I will put a link to it below, okay, so that you can get to it. They have them on um, Amazon, and they have them on Lori's website. So it's just the um, look for Be In My Bonnet. That's what you want to concentrate on, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, Vicki, that you're having a hard time. So I'll put a link to it below so that you can get a hold of it if you want it, okay? So I'm just laying these out and going to get them drawn, and then I can work on them later. Because it's just the fabric that I cut out. I could... Um, I could actually lay these all out and not start by cutting the fabric at all. I could just put them together and pin them. So I would take the background piece. So here's a background piece. I'll measure it kind of and snip it and then cut it. And just as long as I layer it properly so that I've got my backing fabric, my piece that I'm making, and my pieces are much larger than what they need to be, just because I had it. Now I'll lay this down, and then I can just sew it just like this. I don't even have to cut out the um cut out the stocking until after I've sewn it. And then that way it's all really secure, which is even better. So here's another one ready to go. So I just have to cut a piece of lace for it. So here's my lace. And I'll just cut a five inch piece of lace. I'm gonna have to find more lace to keep making these. But that's okay, I will. Here's my lace piece. 
I'm going to fold it. And then I just tuck it right up under here so that it's where I need it to be. And I'll pull it up so that I can see it and I can backstitch over it because that's important. That is the one thing about the lace. You really want to backstitch over it a couple times good so that you make sure when you're sewing it that it is in place and it's not going to go any place because that's really what stabilizes it. So I think this is cute. We're going to, I'm going to keep making these. I've got some really pretty flower fabric from this line. Um, this one right here, this purple, and that's left, and I've got some of the gray left. So I think what I'll do is um, switch over and make some of those too. And then that way I'll have a whole bunch of different um, stockings. And then I can just put them on the kids' presents for gift tags. And then I'm good to go. So now I officially can start wrapping presents, which is also a very good thing. I need to do that. So now I'm going to work on this big one. So what else is going on? You're done too? Wonderful. Yeah, the kids do get a lot of gifts for Christmas. I think that's a great idea. That is a really cool idea. Um, I want to go back. Um, let's see. Yeah, I didn't believe me, guys. We didn't. We didn't do a lot this year, and that's just fine as far as. I'm concerned. What I probably am going to end up doing is every kid is going to get a box, just one box, and inside of the box will be their Christmas presents. So it's not going to be like I'm going to have 15 or 16 different boxes to wrap because that's not happening. We're going to, I think I'm going to do one per kid and that's it. I don't think we'll be doing any more than that. One box and off you go. So I think that one I just did. No, I did it the right way. Did I? Yeah, because that's the right way. Okay. I have to keep track of what I'm doing here too. And I'm trying to get the deer into some of them. So I'm kind of doing a little fussy here and there because I want certain things in it. So I just going around and around and getting it ready to go. So grab some scraps. I made my stocking a big whopping. It's seven inches tall with the quarter inch. So it's actually six and a half inches. Okay. Ooh, you got it going already, Christine? Not me. Nineteen is a hard age to buy for. Unfinished, it's nineteen inches tall. Or I'm sorry, unfinished, it's seven inches tall. Finished, it's six and a half. That's true, Kathy. And you know what? You'll have just as nice of a Christmas, dear. And that's what matters. So, yeah, I, I started asking the kids really early this year. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, we decided on a name for the puppy. The puppy's name is going to be Remington, and we're going to call him Remy. So I'm very excited to go get Remy. I want to go bring him home tomorrow, but I can't, which is cool. So they're, um, so they've been, he's been busy growing and I'm busy getting ready for him, which is very exciting. 
Uh, let's see, what's Debbie Rhodes got done? Yes, please do. All right. That does sound like fun. Post those pictures so that we can see what they look like. All right. I'm making a mess here, guys. Which is typical for me. So remember, take your fabric and put it right side up. And then add your interfacing after that to the back. All right. I'm going to just make sure I got enough fabric all the way around to cover it. All right. And then I need a bigger piece of interfacing. This one's not big enough, so I'll save that one for later. Ooh. Early Christmas present for me is right. Yes. And I'm very excited about my early Christmas present. I, I am looking so forward to having him. Getting him home and, and, and starting to train him and all that neat stuff. Oh, since July... One year I did socks for the girls and what I did was I took the socks and I tied them all together. I just took and put the twist tied them together and then tied them one after the other and then put them in a box and then they had to pull them open at the gift tag and all these socks came streaming out. It was funnier than funny. They loved it. My kids always got for Christmas every year a thing of Clamata juice because they love Clamata juice. So we always bought them a big jar of Clamata juice for Christmas. And they thought that that was just the coolest, that they got their own jar of Clamata to eat. It was always easy. Uh, 12 loads? Oh my gosh. Oh wow, parakeets. That's got to be fun. That's right, memories being baked. Those are the best kinds. We got our turkey for Thanksgiving. So we're getting really ready for the holidays. I'm on the ball this year, which is really nice because I'm not usually. At least I always feel like I'm not. So I got it rolling for certain this year. So I'm going to get these pinned together. And then I've got a total of, what did I make? I got two, four, I got eight done, guys. I just got to stitch these, so I'm doing really, really good. I'm very excited. These will be all done and ready in no time flat. So I just got to put my these in first. Anybody got an easier way of getting these little things in underneath? Because I don't. Let's see. Oh, let's see. I gotta get the rest of these in so I don't lose them because if I lose these, it's a pain. So this week I will be long arming and working on getting this quilt laid out. And then as soon as that one's laid out, I'll start working on that one. And then I'll make the decision for next Sunday which one we're going to do. If we're going to do um, Lori Holtz being my bonnet or if we're going to do the um, other one by Laundry Basket Quilts. I just can't decide. Are you happy with the Laundry Basket Quilts one, Karen? 
Anna's quilt, are you, you're almost done, right? Because I know that this month, we just got the final kit this month. So I'm, I am excited to, to start it, but I don't know which one I want to do first. I've never done one of Lori Holtz's, so part of me would really like to do that one. Don't forget to vote on which one you want me to do in the comments, because I'll go back and look and see what the answer was. And then based on that, I will... Um, start on mine next week. What's Brenda Foley doing? Oh, Brenda, that's really cool. I am so excited for you. You do love that quilt? Okay. See, now that's going to cause a problem because I really don't know which one to start. You gotta make some some of these. I think these are adorable. I could see doing it in real Christmas Christmas colors and just having a Christmas tree full of these and lights. I think that would be really cute. Okay, after you finish the last rainbow, I cannot wait to see that quilt. What did Brenda say? Brenda is adopted at two and a half. You were adopted at two and a half? So everybody is close. So you've met your dad and what else? Kathy says the Lori Holt quilt. There's a lot to that quilt. A lot that that will be able to be shared which kind of leads me towards that one but I don't know of course Lori does Lori's already done it on her channel so I kind of feel like I probably shouldn't do it here but I don't give out dimensions and it is a free pattern um Brenda cool Aw, oh, Christine, that's cool. Did Diane get a puppy too? Oh, Diane, aren't you getting a big dog like a Great Dane or something? Not the dad. Okay. Oh, that's funny, Mary. You're waiting for the quilt to California? That'll be fun to do, Donna. That's always a good time. Very excited. Okay, guys, I'm cutting it early today because I want to get these done. And I got to get a quilt off the long arm. It's waiting for me. It keeps calling me. So I will. Oh, a year last August you've had the Great Dane. Okay. Uh... Okay, Renee. We're getting a chocolate lamb, but we won't get them until the 11th of December. So we got lots of votes for Lori Holtz. So I have a feeling that's the one we're going to have to do. Yes, everybody have a fantastic week, and I will see you back here next Sunday. And I'll show you what I accomplished this week and what we're going to do coming up. Um... I can't write the pattern down. 
I, well, is all it is is putting it together, Mary, and um, and I have no way to put the um, the shape down that I made because I took it from just a stocking that I found. I'll tell you what, I'll go look for it if I can find it. I will put something in the Facebook group, okay? You vote for easy. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you all next week, okay? Bye.